right, I'm here with Paul Gray of Paul's Roasted Corn, who has been at the Dallas Farmer's Market for 23 years. So he's a very familiar face to people who come down to the market. Uh, Paul, tell us a little bit about your history and um, how you got involved with the Dallas Farmer's Market. This was the first original, they come here first. They started, they was here for 15 years. And my parents, they got old and they get, turned it over to one of my brothers and then he turned it over to me and and I kind of expanded it a little bit. The produce wasn't quite going quite as well, so I needed something to supplement my produce, so I came up with Paul's Sweet Roasted Corn. We've been here for 20, actually we've probably been on the market, my family has been on the market probably for about 35, 40 years. Wow. Yeah. What do you think of all the construction that's going on in the farmer's market? I know the market is sort of in a transitional stage. Well, you know, with, with the things that have happened in the last couple of months where they changed the produce and everything, at first I was kind of, you know, didn't know whether it would quite work, but things seem to be working out quite well. I'm, I'm lacking the hours, I'm, I'm getting a few days off, and I'm... I'm basically making the same money, so I think it's going to be great once they complete the construction. I think I think everyone will be pleased with it. And what do you see happening with the local movement? Do you see uh, do you see that there is an interest, a stronger interest in the local farmers now that the change has taken place to um, transition back to that local model, which the farmers market historically, when they started, was a local farmers market. That's right. That's a lot of people right. don't realize when the market started, it was local. Right. Right. Now, actually, this was the uh, bloodline for. for Dallas community. There was that was before the Safeways and the Piggly Wigglers and all that. So um, 75 years ago, that's all came here, and they were sold by the bushel. Yeah. So you're right. But uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to be doing quite well. I mean, um, we, we have to sell local produce Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And right now, there's plenty of it. At first, we thought it might be a little shortage because of all the rain and everything, but. I'm not having any problems coming up with anything to sell from local farmers and I can order and they'll bring it in and hold it for me so it's working out. I think it's just going to take a little time and for people to get adjust, readjust to what's going on and I think it'll be fine. What do you think about the residents that are moving to the neighborhood? Well, I think the residents would be a plus for us. I mean, they can just walk from their apartments or where they, they're living quarters right down here, get what they need, go home and prepare it. So, and it's fresh. So, yeah, I think that's the plus. And do you think that there is something unique about the farmer's market? How would you describe this neighborhood overall? What makes this neighborhood so special and so interesting to visitors and to people? Well, I think I think the vendors and the farmers coming together, bringing uh, local produce to the neighborhood is going to be a plus for this neighborhood. Um, for me, myself, I've been here, like I say, 23 years, and I've met a lot of great people, and I plan to meet a lot of more great people. So it's just, uh, it's just work in progress. It's just going to take time. Okay. Well, thank you, Paul. Thanks so much for your time. I'm sure we'll see you here this weekend, and I uh, look forward to seeing you here for many, many more years. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. <laughs> thank you.